So we have a 3D trig question here. We have this roof lantern in the shape of a pyramid. So triangular sides and a rectangular base here you can see of 2.5 and 3 tall. And the first part for us to find AC, which is half of this diagonal. So let's use Pythagoras to do that. Draw your diagram always. 2.53. So we'll call this x x is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 2.5 squared we could do this in one step and say ac is equal to this whole thing divided by 2 so just type this into your calculator and you get correct the two decimal places 1.95 meters the angle of elevation from B to C is 50 degrees from B to C this angle of elevation so if I do another color for maybe for B to C we're also show that AB so that's this height here AB we're also show that it's 2.3 so we have a right angle triangle again in here so we have this blue right angle triangle angle of elevation is 50 the right angle is here and we have a, this is C and this is A so we have AC is 1.95 from the previous part and we're asked to find or show that AB is 2.3 so this is tan we've got the two straight sides here so the tan of 50 is equal to opposite we can call it AB over adjacent which is 1.95 so 1.95 pound 50 equals a b and typing this into a calculator you get 2.32 is the length of a b and we are asked correct one decimal place so 2.3 is correct Next two parts, find BC firstly. So let's go back and look at the diagram, BC. BC is just the diagonal of this triangle that we have just used here, the blue one. So BC, 1.95, it's just another Pythagoras question. We'll use the 2.3. Let's just call it X, make it easier. X is the square root of 2.3 squared plus 1.95 squared so BC is equal to looks there to be 2.996 and we round this off to 3 round this off to 3 and the angle BCD is that in the same triangle no we're dealing with this triangle now we'll change color BCD the moment BD and BC are the same length, so we've got that to be 3. So we have a nice oscillate triangle. We have a 3, a 3, and a 2.5 down the bottom. And we're looking for this angle in here. So let's have a look at that. So we have sine rule or cosine rule work here. Let's have a look. 3, 3, 2.5. And we're looking for this angle here. We call it A, so cosine rule. The side opposite 3 squared is equal to the other two sides. We write out maybe the formula A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2B is C cos A. So these three squares will cancel. So plus 2.5 squared minus twice 2.5 3 by the cos of A. So we cancel our 3.5s. We're going to bring 5 by 3. We're 15 cos a to the left. 15 cos a is equal to 2.5 squared, which is 6.25. So cos a is equal to 2.5 squared over 15. And the inverse cos of this is equal to giving me 65.37 degrees so 65 degrees to consider the nearest degree it is to the nearest degree and then the next part of this question 
We're asked to find the area of glass required to glaze all four triangular sides to the nearest meter squared. So area of a triangle, let's have a look. So half A, B, C and C will give us area of a triangle. So if we take the green triangle, we have two of them. So we have a half. Well, we have the two sides and the angle in between. We have the three and the 2.5. So half three by 2.5 by the sine of 65. So let's see what this works out to be. This works out to be 3.398. And if we multiply that by two, we will get 6.797, we won't round off yet, 6.797. And then the other triangle also has length sides of three. This one here to the side, we have BEF, this one here. So these are all three we worked it out before. So we have a triangle, a soft size triangle. We can use half A, B, and C, or we can drop the perpendicular down. But if they're all three, this has to be 60. So half three by three by the sine of 60 times two. Let's see what this is. We'll just do it, get it on its own first unit in stages. It's given 3.897 times two. is equal to 7.794. And if we add on the 6.797, we will get 14.59. And it was correct to the nearest meter, so 15 meters squared of glass required. The last part of this question, we have another roof lantern in the shape of a pyramid, which has a square base. So we can call all these sides X if we need to. Vertical height is three meters. Looks like we're gonna use this dotted triangle in here. We're given the angle BCA here is 60. So let's have a look and see what they're looking for, the length of the square base. So we're gonna to need to use 60 and three find what AC would be and then we can double it to find the diagonal and then we only have one unknown in a right angle triangle we'll use this one so we want let's call this X tan again the tan of 60 is equal to O over A 3 over X so AC is equal to 3 over the tan of 60 um, tan of 60 is root 3, so this is 3 over root 3. So we now have, if we multiply this by 2, we get the full length of this diagonal, so that's going to be 6 over root 3. So now we have a right angle triangle with x, x, and the diagonal is 6 over root 3. So x squared plus x squared is equal to 6 over root 3 to the squared 2x squared is equal to 36 over 3 so 2x squared is equal to 12 x squared is equal to 6 x is equal to root 6 and that completes your summer test